Today, I'm gonna show you one of the most controversial things in Forza Horizon 5. This is the Forza Painter Tool. In today's video, we're gonna talk about everything you need to know about the Forza Painter Tool, from what it is, how it works, why it's so controversial, will you get banned for using it, and why some livery creators think that this tool even existing could destroy future Forza Painters, we're going to talk about all of that in today's video. So let's start it off with the easy one. What exactly is the Forza Painter tool? Well, it's a tool made by a couple of people that essentially allows you to import images off your PC and into Forza Horizon 5 so you can use those images in your liveries and on the side of your cars, for example. You can take pretty much any image you want and run it through a program that will convert it into a .json file which essentially recreates that image out of basic circle shape. And then where things get crazy though, is you can actually run a script alongside Forza Horizon 5 that will take that .json image file and recreate it in Forza Horizon 5 using the basic circle shapes that are in the game and color them accurately. And watching this tool work and build images is actually really cool. It's a very oversimplified way of how this tool works, but you kind of get the idea. Anyways, here are some images that it's actually made. You can see the images, what they actually look like on someone's computer, and then what the image looks like in Forza Horizon 5 after the tool's done its job. It's not great, but it's also not bad either. All I know is this tool is a hundred times more talented than I am at creating liveries in Forza Horizon 5. There is one other thing that you need to know about this tool though. This is not a tool that's just gonna go in and build a livery for you. You can't go on Google, for example, and type in a Nissan GTR or a Lamborghini and then just give it that image and expect it to make the livery in the game. That is not how this works. All it does is take the image and turn it into a vinyl in the game. It's still up to you to go and place that vinyl on your car. Get the sizing and placement correct, and then pair that vinyl with, obviously, other vinyls to make a flowing livery that actually looks good. All of that is still up to you. All this tool does is take image, turn into vinyl. That's all. Now, don't go rushing to your computer to download the program and start importing all of these vinyls that you want to into Forza Horizon 5, because if you do, you might actually get banned for it. At the time of recording this video, the developers haven't actually confirmed if you can use this tool or if you can't use this tool. The developers actually haven't mentioned anything. They've never even acknowledged that this tool exists. Some Forza Horizon 5 players have reported that they've allegedly been banned for using this tool, but myself personally, I haven't seen too many people banned for using this tool. So long story short, we don't know. It's at this point in the video, I'd like to mention, I take no responsibility if you get banned for using this tool. I'm not promoting the tool. I'm just simply talking about it and telling you a story. Don't go use the tool and get banned for it. Moving on. So here's the problem. Forza just lacks the modern in-game tools to create liveries that other racing games have. The Forza paint booth hasn't properly been updated since like Forza 2? Forza 3, maybe? Way, way back, like 10, 15 years ago. We've had small little additions to the Forza paint booth over the years, like being able to flip your vinyls, like mirror them, and being able to copy the left side of your car to the right side of your car, for example, so you could make a symmetrical livery, even though it doesn't work most of the time. But for example, Gran Turismo 7 actually allows you to do just what this tool does by taking images off your PC, going through the Gran Turismo website and importing them into the game and being able to use them on your PS5, which is pretty cool. Long story short, ever since the Forza Painter tool has come out, some people have loved it and other people not so much. Let's talk about that because the guy, one of the guys who actually makes the tool said this. I'm going to read his quote. He said, some players feel that making vinyl groups in this way is unfair as they've had to suffer through learning the tool, like the in-game tool, and were not able to use an easy starting point. This is a completely valid opinion, and with enough time, practice, and talent, you can recreate complex images. I just don't share the opinion that you should have to. It's not a cheat, it's not giving any player an unfair advantage, it's not modifying game files or game code, and it's not taking advantage of any exploits. Those are all totally valid points, and I agree, it takes a super long time to make in-game paint jobs right now. For the vast majority of people, the paint booth is just overwhelming, confusing, 
and extremely difficult to master. And the people who have mastered it have probably spent hundreds, if not thousands of hours in the Forts of Paint booth, mastering their skills, learning what's possible and what isn't, and figuring out how to recreate all of those things. And at the end of the day, those guys truly do make art. The only point I disagree with in that quote is that it does actually give some players an unfair advantage because players on the PC would be able to import images with a computer, but Xbox players wouldn't be able to. I actually got to ask some of the most popular and talented Forza Painters what they think about the tool. And some of them said that the tool is actually pretty cool because it opens up painting to the masses. Being able to get people over that initial hurdle of painting and just have them start designing, whether it's with like existing things, that's kind of cool because it opens it up and kind of shows people what's possible. Some players also felt that working hard and grinding away in the Forza Paint booth by putting in the hours and learning how every single part of it works to achieve a desired goal is actually part of the experience. Long story short though, after speaking with these Forza Painters, the general consensus that I feel like these guys have is that this tool shouldn't be allowed in its current form. Whether that's because it's a script making these paints and taking away that emotion and storytelling that comes with creating art, or because it's just unfair to players on the Xbox as opposed to the PC, the general consensus I got from these guys is that it shouldn't be allowed in its current form. So after all of that being said, what is the fix? What does Forza need to do? Number one. I think they need to tell us if we're actually allowed to use this tool or not. That would be a great start. Although, yes, it obviously has its pros and its cons and how PC users will have an unfair advantage. Is that something that the developers are actually going to allow? We'll have to see. And then number two, in the short term, I'd love to see Forza actually implement some proper upgrades to the in-game paint booth. Whether that be with new shapes, new materials, new fonts, and so on. And then outside of the paint booth, being able to do things like co-op liveries or better ways to find and download paint jobs would also be awesome. And then number three, in the long term, I would love to see the developers actually make some proper investment into the paint booth to just make it more intuitive, easier to understand, and just straight up easier to you. Personally, I feel like I shouldn't have to spend hours upon hours to take an image and recreate it in the game when there's an easier way to do it that gets me roughly to the same finish line. Obviously, proper in-game painters with the tools we have now are always going to be more accurate. They're always going to be more layer efficient. But I don't have the time to spend on learning all of those things, and I'd love a shortcut. Let me know what you guys think, though. Would you support a tool made by the developers that allows you to import images off your PC and into the game? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.